so at the flea market, I got this from one vendor, and there's 33 sets of earrings in here, and they are all vintage. She had many more, but a lot of them were dirty, broken, or missing pieces. It's, these were the pretty ones, and I found some really cool ones. This one's a real pretty glass one. A lot of cluster earrings. Lucite or thermoset. And some little faux turquoise. I got a micro mosaic and these, which you can't see very well, are Monet and they're dangles. Some pretty lucite. I think I have a bracelet that matches that. Some flowers, lots of pretty ones. And over here I got three necklaces. One is a set with a bracelet and that's opalite and some type of wood or goldish bead. Not sure what they are, but they're not that pretty, but the opalite is very pretty. Then we have this brown three-layered necklace and this red and white three-layered necklace, which I just think is so cool. They're both, this one is glass and this one is acrylic but it is just so cool i had to get it i love these long narrow um, like tube beads they're pretty cool and then we have some newer brooches this one on the right is vintage the butterfly is newer and its matching counterpart is also new this is a marin elena bracelet and these are shoe clips, or I guess you could use them as a dress clip as well. Let's look at the back, see how that is. And they got these little spike things, so they're kind of pointy to put on a dress, but I guess you could still use them on a dress. And then this real pretty cross with a red cabochon in it. That's one vendor. All right, here's a combination of, a, of several vendors that I got some pretty cool pieces from. This one on the end is was thrown in with a couple other pieces. She just wanted to get rid of it. It's got a cool mesh chain on it, but I didn't really want it. I said that that's a belt and it'll never fit around me. And then the more I looked at it, I believe it's a necklace. It's way too short or it's going to have to go around a real skinny person. Um, but I think it'd be a cool necklace. And look at these gorgeous glass beads. This is a White House White Market, or Black, Black House White Market, White House Black Market. I just noticed some damage up on these beads. Darn it. It was such a pretty necklace, but I still will sell it. I'll just disc disclose that. It's going to go behind the neck anyway. And these black, um, is a, this black one is a layered one and it is glass beads this next one here is acrylic and it was thrown in a bag of a couple of other necklaces so i i might throw that in with some other um, necklaces it's real long it's like a flapper necklace then we have two glass beaded necklaces in white from the same vendor they were about three dollars a peach one's got a barrel clasp the other one doesn't have a clasp Look at this gorgeous red bracelet. I paid up for this piece, but it is not even name brand. But it is vintage. It's got a fold over clasp on it, or some people call it a snap clasp. Pretty piece. And then this red glass beaded necklaces. Necklace. <laughs> Back over here, we have three necklaces. This green one is a stone. I believe it's jasper. It looks like it. This next one is a napier, the pearl one with the gold on it. The white one next to that needs a good cleaning, as you can see. That is a Monet. I might throw that in with a couple other Monet pieces. And then the gold one is a tassel necklace. That's really cool. I love the beads on the end. And then this blue layered one is glass. That's a cool piece. And then what my favorite piece of all is this Trafari white enamel. And it comes with the box. Yay, I love that piece. And we have some brooches. 
These were fairly inexpensive. The two leaves are Monet. We have this, it's, it looks like a cloisonne bracelet. It's nice and um, heavy duty. But the more I look at it, I believe these might just be painted on. I really think it's just painted on. This next brooch is a BSK. And this next one is very old. Let's turn it over to see what the back looks like. It looks almost like it has a newer pin on it because I believe it wouldn't have the holes in it if it did but this is an old piece it has open backs on the stones has lots of wear needs a good cleaning the rhinestones are kind of faded but look at the red cabochons they're prong set very nice piece this one is a Trifari, which I don't believe I've ever seen this one. So I thought I'd pick it up. And this last one is a Lisner. If the pin doesn't stick me. It's pretty. And there is no rhinestones missing on this. Over here we have a dress clip or some kind of clip. I've never seen a clip like this before. And it is marked, and this thing slides up and down, and the marking is underneath, and there is another mark on the clip. It's like maybe a shoe clip, but it's so heavy. And then, I don't know, tell me what you think this is, but it is marked Holfa. Patent pending, that might be the clip, but underneath, let's slide it back up. Deauville. Okay, if you know anything about that brand or you know what this type of clip is, please let me know. You can see some of the stones are kind of yellowing. I don't think it's missing any. Well, maybe one. But it's interesting old old piece we have this great fall ab rhinestone wreath style brooch this is so pretty it has the pin that extends past the end of the class so that means it's probably from the 40s no it has to be after the 50s because it has ab coating on it hmm it might just be bent a little or something why that class, why that pin goes past it, I don't know, for a 1960s brooch. This Here's another AB rhinestone one, and this is made in Austria. These are AB crystals, prong set. There you will see made in Austria. You probably won't see it. And it's got closed backs on it. This one's pretty cool. It's an enamel pin with glass stones, prong set, and it's got rivet construction on it. Cool piece. And this one too, I believe it looks Czech to me, but the stone doesn't look as brilliant as a lot of the Czech stones. Spring ring clasp. It's got a filigree back on it. A pretty topaz colored stone and two accents with some other. Oh, I believe it's missing a bunch of stones. Hmm, that's sad. I'm very sad now. Hmm. All right, moving on. We have two. Um, white glass earrings that are bezel set or prong set clip and I love this choker some people would call it collar it does have a little hang tag on it it's a little heart hang tag I don't know who that is supposed to um, be a logo for then we got this 
kind of an enamel silvery gold leaf choker necklace. And these other two, this one on the right, the gold one reminds me of Monet, but it is not. The pearl one is pretty cool. It has like this jellyfish looking tassel on the bottom. And this last one is a pearl station beaded necklace and it's by Anne Klein. And I think that's a really nice piece. And we do have more necklaces. Hang tight. All right, last but not least is my favorite vendor at the flea market. And this is what she had this weekend. So the one on the end here is a heavy glass bead. These are like pearlized beads with opalite in between. And it is a long necklace. And then next to it is this gorgeous piece. I just love this. It's like a faux amber acrylic lucite beaded necklace. And look at the clasp. It's a box clasp. It's just so cool. Love that piece. Next to it's a little bracelet. It is mother of pearl and black enamel. And next to that we have this rock quartz which is polished quartz. If you look closely, you can see all the little indentations in it. Pretty cool piece with a piece of um, abalone, and it's real thin. It's a real, real thin pendant. Next to it, we have this little, I call it a little purse bracelet. It's a chain bracelet holding this little um, I guess you could put pictures in there if you want. You could put whatever you want in there and hide it and carry it on your wrist. It's got a pretty rhinestone and pearl accent on the top. Next to it we have this beautiful blue glass beaded necklace. It's long. All my necklaces are long this time it seems like. And a little glass beaded tassel. And look at this. This is an acrylic necklace. Again, it's long. It is vintage, old. Look at the little caps in between. That kind of tells you it's most, most likely vintage. I mean, they do make reproductions with that nowadays. But look at this pendant. Gosh, I love that. And it's open in the back. It's not marked. And it's just a great piece. Great acrylic piece. And it has... It does have a mark on it. Let's see what it says. It says West Germany. Next to it, we have an abalone layered necklace. And on the end, it has a box clasp. And we have a brown glass beaded necklace with a real pretty pendant on it. This is newer, as you can tell. Look at the back side. And it has a lobster claw clasp, I believe. Yes. So that tells me it's new. And then we have this multi-layered pink, which I believe is rose quartz. I'll have to look at it closer, but I believe it is rose quartz. And glass beaded. Look at the tube beads. Yes. See the variation in the color? Most of the time you don't see that, like hazy look to it when it's glass. So I believe it's rose quartz. Then I have this cool lion head. It made me think of Anne Klein, but it is not. It's just a lion head pendant with a long chain and a spring ring clasp. Next to it's a spring ring clasp. Looks like on a snake chain, but look at this pendant. Isn't that cool with these kind of teardrop shape freshwater pearls possibly and they're tipped with rhinestones love that it almost looks like a butterfly shape that's cool next to it is a Sarah Coventry piece and then it is layered let's get it off that background it's just clear bees and they are acrylic the metal does give it some weight it has a nice uh, fold over clasp on it with nice decorative findings and up here we have a rhinestone uh, choker necklace. These are pretty common in my store. I love them. 
Look at the sparkle on that brown color. That'd be good for the fall season. And we have blue. Again, blue, my favorite. With butterflies or little angel looking things. They got wings. I just thought it was adorable and it's got such sparkle to it. You'll never be able to see that in the pictures, but it's got a toggle clasp. Next to that, we have one that blends in with my countertop. So this is um, agate, it looks like. Yes, I believe that's agate. Nice brown shades, another good fall one. And then it has a little pendant dangle on it. Next to this is Premier Design, and these are faux turquoise. They are probably halite, double layered, lobster claw clasp. And this one down here is pretty awesome. White milk glass with some earrings that I believe are matching, or they at least coordinate with it nicely. So that's the extent of my necklace, my favorite necklace ladies haul. So I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope you get some ideas out of this of what to pick up when you're out and about. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what your favorite piece was out of all of these. Thanks for joining me. See you on the next one. So I went to two estate sales today and I found some nice glass beaded necklaces, some five cameos. They're not shell, but they are acrylic and the little findings that they go in. Found several earrings, necklaces, brooches. Let's go through these a little bit. I got a stained glass necklace. I got these black chalky beaded necklace. I think they're acrylic. And then next to that is angel skin coral. Nice, nice piece right there. Plus a sterling clasp on the end. Got a little Boy Scout clip and another pin with a glass bead. This gold chain is a beautiful necklace, but unfortunately the clasp is broke, so I'm going to have to try to figure out a different type of clasp to put on it. Then we have this marble uh, pin. It looks like a shell. That's a pretty cool piece right there. And then I found a trafari brooch. This glass beaded necklace in white is not branded. Next to it is another white glass beaded necklace that is Trafari and it's missing some beads and they're there so I'm going to glue them back in and we should be good to go and then I also found some cool Trafari earrings a Trafari brooch all very similar in white enamel or white glass and these brush gold Trafari clip earrings great find and then we have some Monet enamel and another set up here that are vintage this setup here is just awesome. It's black glass beaded, probably from the 1940s. And then there's some black um, screw back earrings that are glass. And look at this cool enamel brooch. It is not branded, but it is still a really cool brooch. And this tiny little, it's like almost like a scatter pin, but it doesn't have the other scatter pin. Then we got white glass dangle beer, um, earrings and some white enamel clip earrings. Oh, and one more, couple more things. Garnet sterling earring set and necklace. And then I have a carved bracelet. So that is my findings from the two estate sales. I spent $36. I got eight necklaces, one bracelet, four brooches, six earrings, and two sets. So a total of 21 pieces for $36. It came out to $1.71 a piece. Pretty good finds for the day.